Hello everyone, I am Maheshwari, first year of MJC Jagadgir Gutta. Today I am going to address one of the significant social issues, corruption. Let's move to corruption. What is corruption actually? Corruption refers to a form of crime or dishonesty. It refers to an individual or a group of doing evil. This act most importantly violates certain people's rights and privileges. Corruption involves many actions such as bribes or maltreatment. Corruption can occur in other ways. In any case, corruption is a representation of dishonesty and selfish actions. All despise the term corruption. We are all dreaming of a corruption-free world. Since time immemorial in one form or another. Corruption in India has prevailed. The link between Brukhoff's politicians and criminals is responsible for corruption in India. Bribes were given in the previous days because things were wrong. But bribes are compensated now from the right things in society. Social corruption like the mixing of goods, alliteration of foodstuffs and different kinds of bribery have predominated in society continuously. In the current situation, if a person wants a public sector job, he has to pay the higher official substantial amounts of money regardless of meeting all qualifying criteria. A candidate must either give money to the uh, concerned employee or arrange for specific sources to get his job done in almost all offices. In the civil supplies department, there is the adulteration of food and fake measurements of products by unempathetic employees. They cheat the customers by playing with the health and welfare of their fellow citizens. The officers always explore people in the property, tax evaluation and charge money, even if the house is adequately constructed according to the government rules and regulations. Political corruption in our country is the worst among us all. The most significant reasons for concerning is the corruption dehumanizes the governing body and decreases the fundamental value of the law that regulates society. Today, politics are the only aimed at criminals and outlaws who end up being in politics. Elections have become tied to a host of criminal and drone-drone activities in many parts of the country. Calling electors to cast votes on particular candidates or physical blocking voters from assessing the polling stations frequently occurs in different parts of the world, particularly in weaker sections of society such as the tribal Dalis in the depressed and ruler woman. Corruption remains a significant problem in the largest democracy in the world and represents a significant risk to industries. India supplied further down the rankings of the Corruption Perception Index for 2019 and annual assessments by the Transparency International that ranks 180 countries and territories worldwide on perceived public sector corruption largest sources of corruption in India are entitlement programs and social spending schemes enacted by the Indian government. Free of corruption is possible in our society? Yes, definitely. Indeed, corruption-free India is possible if we want to clean up the system by starting at our own level. Concert and robust actions are required in order to grab the threat and and the environment needs to be built where the decent democratic ideas are put forward to represent the nation sincerely and genuinely for the sake of the country's people. Let us do our best to keep India free of corruption and one day we will certainly see a corruption-free India, which we all dream of. One second, I hope you will. Thank you.